All right, boys and girls, it's time to take another look at the Maxwell equations. But this time, instead of just focusing on what is there, we're also going to pay attention to what isn't there, and to the overall symmetry of the situation, or lack thereof. Let's strip everything down and then build it back up. The equation specifying E and B in the absence of any sources would look like this. Not very exciting, but they are symmetric under the exchange of E and B. You can swap E for B, or vice versa, and not really change anything, though in this situation that symmetry is kind of a trivial one. So let's add in the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction. The idea that time-varying fields of one sort produce fields of the other sort. The equations we get retain that symmetry between E and B up to a constant, and there are unit systems in which C equals 1 anyway, in which case the symmetry is total. But, as we both know, we're not done yet. There exist electric monopoles, which we call charges, and moving electric monopoles are called currents, and those act as sources too. When we layer those terms in, we really muck up the symmetry between E and B. It's no longer the case that E and B get created in exactly the same fashion. It would be really easy to fix that, though. So easy that everybody is really, really tempted to just go ahead and fix it. All you'd need is some kind of magnetic monopole source, a magnetic charge, which when moving would lead to a magnetic current, and then the Maxwell equations would turn out as such, with the symmetry between E and B restored. What a beautiful and aesthetically pleasing result that would be. Its only shortcoming lies in the fact that magnetic monopoles don't seem to exist. At all. Ever. You can draw a lesson from that, you know. Physicists and mathematicians love pretty, symmetric equations. But just because something's pretty doesn't mean it's real. Your books generally talk about the theories that did turn out to be true. But historically, many a wild goose chase started because a certain set of equations would be tidier if only such and such is true. And while that does work from time to time, there have been quite a number of times when it didn't. So remember, boys and girls... Physics is, at the end of the day, an experimental science. No matter how much we may wish there to be magnetic monopoles, dragons, and unicorns, if they don't exist, they don't exist. Though it is always possible we just haven't looked in the right place yet. <laughs>